What's going on guys, Nate here. I wanted to come on here real quick and share uh, some disturbing news I just discovered and also a funny story uh, that goes along with that. Uh, first off, good morning Denver, good morning Coloridians, good morning Americans, and good morning meat eaters of the world. Uh, meat eaters comprise of uh, over 90% of the population and uh, that doesn't include all the closet meat-eating vegans, the lying vegans that claim not to eat meat. Um, so uh, I discovered, I heard this news yesterday um, and it was after the fact. Um, I was actually wearing this shirt and I went to gather some meat. Spent well over $100 in you know local pasture-raised, grass-fed beef and steaks and organic whole chickens and you know, eggs and and dairy, the whole nine, right? And I was wearing the shirt, you know, relevant. And uh, some lady uh, working there mentioned how it was uh, the perfect day to wear this shirt to say, eat meat, save the planet. And I didn't realize why at the time until, you know, we talked and then I also went home and I saw that uh, the governor of Colorado uh, wanted to um, past this holiday called Meat Out Day. So in, in other words, um, taking meat off the menu for the day, making a national holiday of it. And um, not realizing how naive and you know idiotic that just sounds, um, there's been a lot of backlash already and he's actually already changed his mind. Um, he's went on to say that beef jerky was his favorite snack and he's trying to, you know, minimize the damage of uh, his statements and his actions. But uh, now he's going to add a livestock proud holiday on Monday. Um, just crazy, you know, uh, very naive to think that you can remove meat and have any positive effects whatsoever. Um, it's just very ignorant of to the reality of the science and the, just the reality of the world like you literally wouldn't be here if your ancestors decided to go vegan <laughs> it's just a fact you, like you would not be here we wouldn't have any of our brain uh, capacity we wouldn't have any of our uh, strength our abilities uh, you know to hunt and to survive in in the real world in the wild you know it's just um, unfathomable you know uh, our brain size literally skyrocketed through the roof when we started eating meat among many other things and there's just so many of the plant-based and vegan myths that have been debunked now that to still believe them and promote them is just uh, ignorance you know it's out there it's not a secret you know it's it's clear and clear you know day like the information you can find it I recommend if you have no idea if you honestly think like veganism and plant-based uh, ideologies are healthy in any way whatsoever for yourself, for the planet, for animals, for nature, for anything. If you think there's any benefit to it whatsoever, I recommend reading some books and watching some documentaries. There's Sacred Cow documentary and book. There's The Carnivore Code, which um, dispelled a lot of myths for me because, you know, I've been primal aligned myself for the past uh, six years. And I was actually vegan before that, for those who don't know. I believed in all the lies, and then I realized they were all lies, so I stopped believing them. You know, I don't, I don't need to cling on to an ideology. If it's proven false, I, I'm, I can easily move on, you know? The problem is with clinging on to ideologies uh, because it's a moral high ground, or, you know, you're, you're gonna expand your heart chakra because you're plant-based or some shit, you know? it's. It's just not the case. You, you, you'd be better off expanding your heart chakra if you just ate beef heart, you know, organic, local, grass-fed beef heart from the butcher or farmer, you know. Um, anyways, there's a lot of information out there. Um, between the information of how many animals are killed per year from uh, plant agriculture, way more than animal agriculture, um, the fact that animal agriculture uh, isn't especially when it's grass-fed regenerative, isn't really contributing to the CO2. Um, it's something like 2 point something, 2.6% or something for all of animal agriculture. Uh, beef, cows are even less than that. But all of animal agriculture is only 2.6%, whereas 
you know, uh, transportation is around 30%, electricity is around 30%, corporations, you know, industry is around 30%. And guess what uh, you're supporting when you're eating uh, these soy boy, you know, vegan burgers and vegan plant-based bullshit meat? You're supporting the corporations. So you're supporting more to uh, the destruction of environment, to CO2 production, um, uh, to all-around pollution by supporting these these fake vegan soy bullshit uh, fake meat products. Like, just eat real meat, you know? Why do you got to make a fake meat product, you know? Uh, but anyways, yeah, this is a deer antler, if anyone's wondering. Uh, my brother hunted that. And, um, you know, do something that's actually going to make a difference, you know, hunt, go hunting, you know, go bow hunting if you, if you must and, um, go support your local farmers, support local butchers, you know, support grass fed, grass finished, pasture raised, um, you know, support these co-ops, you know, keep it local, keep it real. Regenerative agriculture to get back to the point of, um, pollution. Regenerative agriculture, which is grass-fed, grass-finished cows and, and animal and animal livestock, is not only not producing carbon and methane and you know pollution. It's actually carbon sequestering. It's taking carbon out of the environment. By the way, the ecosystem works, where they're you know putting it into the environment and it's coming back down and it's being sequestered by the the grass that they're eating, that the ruminant animals are eating. So if you really want to save the planet, eat meat, you know, support grass-fed, grass-finished, pasture-raised, and uh, you'll actually make a difference, you know. Minimize your transportation, um, minimize your electricity. That's, those are the things that are going to make a real difference. And uh, keep it local, all right? All right, that's it. Governor of Colorado, I hope you hear this message. I'm glad you're re- retracting your, your, your naive statements. And... Um, Seriously, that's it's. I wouldn't make that mistake again. <laughs> you see all the backlash that came out from that, and like you know, animal-based people and carnivore people like myself are, you know, just gonna eat twice the amount of meat every time some ridiculous statement to go plant-based comes out. You know, it's just there's no sense to it. So I hope, uh, I hope, uh, I hope this gets out there. Share this video. I hope that people hear this message. Can't be said enough. Um, yeah, support local farmers, support butchers, support grass-fed, grass-finished. Eat animal-based. Eat meat. Save the planet. Plant-based isn't gonna help anyone or anything. All right, guys. Nate Amato here. Have a good day. Enjoy your meat. <laughs> eat plenty of meat today. Stay healthy. Save the planet.